Dawson Creek had the chance to play spoiler Saturday night, a win against Spirit River, and the Rangers would finish in second place in the NPHL West Division and fail to secure a first round playoff bye. But the senior Canucks came out flat. In the first period, Colin Leftley jumps on the rebound and buries it. That puts the Rangers up 1-0. Early in the second, Dawson Creek with a chance to equalize after some nice tic-tac-toe passing, but Riley Muse can't get good wood on it and it goes just wide. With time winding down in the second, Spirit River with a chance to add to their lead, but JB Agar flashes the leather. Down at the other end with Dawson Creek on the power play, Alex Wright wasn't going to be outdone as he gets the glove on the wrister, keeping the lead 1-0. Early in the third, the senior Canucks with a bad turnover in their own end, J.M. St. Pierre with a great chance to add to the lead, but he fans on the shot. With just under four minutes to go, senior Canucks head coach Mike Cooper uses his timeout. And about a minute later, Dawson Creek gets their best chance to tie it up. Assistant captain Jeff Taylor picks up the rebound in front, but can't find the back of the net. That was as close as they'd come as the senior Canucks didn't even muster a shot with their net empty. The loss means Dawson Creek will play Fort St. John in the first round of the playoffs. Despite getting shut out, Taylor said they need to worry about their defensive play against the Flyers, not their offense. We got to lock it up against Fort St. John. They got some guys that can bury. So um, we'll, we'll do a bit of a bit of video. Actually, we that last game, they, they whooped us pretty good, but we have a video to go over. So. We'll get that done this weekend and be ready to go. Puck drop for game one of the Flyers and Senior Canucks series is tonight at 8.30 at the North Peace Arena. Peter Houston, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.